Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to solve a Mega Beats. <coughs> so this is a... <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to solve the... <coughs> it's a 3x3 dodecahedron puzzle. And I'm sorry about my scratchy voice. I know it's like all messed up. But... <coughs> yeah. So first... Um... We're going to scramble it up. And if you don't already, it's best if you know how to solve a 3x3. Three three. Um, I'm going to try to hold it like this. Just so that I can get a good view. I know it's going to be pretty small, but this is, <clears throat> this is pretty much the only way I can handle it. So. <clears throat> maybe try zooming in a little bit. Actually, no, that won't work. So. Scramble it up. <clears throat> Again, I apologize for my scratchy voice. It's because I have, I still have a little bit of mucus in my, in my larynx. Okay, guys. So once your mic beats is all nice and scrambled up, now we're gonna go on the basics of solving it. So we want to solve the white star. So first, let's find a white edge piece. So here we have white and green. So we can move it down to the white center. And then move it so that we match it up with the green center. Like this. <clears throat> now, this one is white and red. So we're going to move it over to the, the red side. Like this. So that matches up with the red center. And then we move it to match it up with the white center. And then just keep doing that with all of the white center pieces <clears throat> until, until you're done. So once you're finished doing the white star, then do the white corners. So there's going to be five layers that we need to solve. So <clears throat> we're going to start with these layers over here. <clears throat> so we're going to do this. Um, um, the yellow, blue, and white centerpiece. <clears throat> so we're going to... Or sorry, corner piece is what I meant. And we're going to mo be moving that into its correct place. And <clears throat> man, that was a big voice crack. I'm so sorry about that. And then we're going to be moving. And then we're just going to do that all the way around the cube. That wasn't really a voice crack. That was just like my voice going really deep for some reason. And then we're just going to keep inserting the corners until it's all done. Just for the entire white side. And I'm expecting you to know how to solve it 3x3. Three three. I, I, you don't necessarily have to. But it's it's best if you do. And <clears throat> So once you're finished solving the white side, then now we're going to solve this second layer. Which is going to be a little bit... <clears throat> it's going to be very similar to the 3x3. Three three. So, um, what we're going to do, let me just close this door. <clears throat> now we're going to, um, so let's look for a blue and red edge piece for, like, right here. And so let's look around the, the Mega Means and we see it right here. So we're going to move it to where we can match it up with one of the centers, which is the red center. And to move it to the left, we're going to be doing this algorithm U prime, L prime, U, L, U. 
f u prime f prime and please watch my 3 by 3 video for knowing algorithms <clears throat> if you don't know algorithms then if you don't know notation then please watch my video my 3 by 3 video and yes actually i do expect you to know some parts of a 3 by 3 if you don't know all parts like the last layer then that's fine i'll teach i'll show you how to do the last layer so We're going to keep solving the middle layer, and if we want it to go to the right, then we do this algorithm, which is u, r, u prime, r prime, u prime, f prime, it's locking up, u, f, to put the piece in there. Now we're going to do that all the way around. So once you're done with the second layer, now we're going to do the third layer. So which zone should we start with? Let's start with pink. Why not? Pink is cool. <clears throat> so what we do is... Oh, sorry about this. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for <clears throat> the two sides that are underneath the pink, which is blue and red. So we're going to look for the pink, blue, and red corner. So it's right here. If it were like somewhere over here, you just like move it over so that it matches up with the center. And then we can bring it down so that it comes down where we, it matches up with the blue and red sides. <laughs> so now we're going to put the, the pink and red piece here. So if it's inverted, what you do is you you take this out, you reinsert it, reinsert the corner, and then what you can do is we can now insert this by doing the algorithm, which is to do it to the to insert it to the right algorithm is f l f2 l prime f prime and that will work so now we have to get this to line up with this piece but it's not going to work so what we do is we can move it like this so that we can move it down here. Then we rotate the front clockwise so that when we move it here, it'll match up with this. And when we rotate it back, we rotate the front counterclockwise, it comes back to its original position with this pink and blue piece up here so that we can move it down here. And to do it to the, to move it to the left, the algorithm is F, F prime, R prime, F2 prime, R, F. And now, we're going to do it with the cream, red, and green piece. So, we're going to just keep doing that all the way around.
Oops. I did it the wrong way. So now when you're done with that, now we're going to insert all the corners. So this one is orange, purple, and blue. So we insert it here in the correct spot. And we see that this one is green, yellow, and orange. So we find the yellow, orange, and green corner. So, <clears throat> so, match it up, so that, oh, whoops, so that there's an, so that matches up with the bar on the, the yellow, so that matches up on the orange, yellow, and green, so that it creates a nice bar all the way around. Kind of like a snake. And then we just keep doing it. All the way around. So once you're finished with that, then we're going to be solving the fourth layer. So we have this piece, and it has to not have gray on it. So we're going to move this to the right to the left and you already know the F left algorithm from when we did the second layer so we do that algorithm and then look for the other pieces there's another one This one goes here, so we move that to the right, so we do the right algorithm. And these two we have to switch, so I'm just going to move them to a place where I can solve them. So now when we're done with that, the algorithm, let's focus on the gray side. So the algorithm that we're going to do is, if you have like none of these edge pieces, the algorithm is going to be F, U, R, U prime, R prime, F prime. And then you might have this arrow shape or you might have this, whatever this shape is. I don't really know how to describe it. So you want to have it facing like this like it should be one here one here and one here so the algorithm for this is f u r u prime r prime f prime to solve the ray star if it looks like an arrow you want it to be pointing kind of to the left down like east to southeast whatever and when it's like that, you would hold it so that it's pointing this way. So the argument for that is F R U R prime U prime F prime to solve the gray star. And once you have the gray star solved, look for a proper edge piece. An edge piece that's matched with the gray center and the uh, um the color center 
neither in this case it could be like cream or blue or whatever but in this case it's we're gonna use lime so we want to keep this the soft center or edge piece on the left and I'm the bottom left so when we do the soon algorithm which is R U R prime U R U tube prime R prime and then we look around the mega beams and then we see we have another soft edge so now we want to have face where the soft edges is one is facing you and one is facing to the top right the other soft edge so we, and we want to do the algorithm again and then look for other pieces until you do that you will end up you might have to do it more than one time you will end up with one facing you you will end up with two of them right next to each other so you, you want to have one facing you and one facing the other direction and then do it one more time or actually I think it's two more times and then you still have these two bingots here so do the algorithm again and now once all of your edge pieces are solved look for any soft corners so in this case if you have no soft corners at all then you would still do this algorithm which is L prime U2 R U2 prime L U2 R prime U2 prime and you look for solved corners and you see we have one corner that's solved and we do the same algorithm And we look for another corner that's solved. And the other corner is right here. So you want to have this one of them, this one on the bottom, the bottom right. And then this one right on the top. And do the algorithm again. And look for a solved corner. We only have one. So we want to put on the bottom right. And then we have two of them that are adjacent to each other. And that's what we should have. But I'll show you what happens if you run into a problem. So <clears throat> when you're doing like finishing the corners. Like when one is here and the other one is here. Try doing them aligned this way. Try doing the algorithm with them aligned this way for three times and if it doesn't work within three times then try doing it with them aligned like this so I'm gonna try doing it with them like this and that also gives me two corners that are adjacent to each other so then we do the algorithm again. And then one more time. There we go. Now we have all of the corners in the their correct spots. So if you had multiple corners to rotate, it doesn't matter how many you have. Like, let's say a bunch of them were rotated. You would do R prime, D prime, R, D, R prime, D prime, R, D, R prime, D prime, R, D, R prime, D prime, R, D to rotate this one corner. And you have to, you can't forget the D move at the end. And then you can rotate it to the next corner. D, R prime, D prime, R, D. And there we go. Um, 
but if you had more corners, then just keep rotating the top until you get to the other corners, and then do the same algorithm. And don't forget the D move. Just do it until it the corner lines up in place. And then when you're done, turn the top clockwise or counterclockwise. And there you go. Now your Mega Minx is solved. So, if this tutorial was helpful, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you got stuck on anything, leave a comment. Um, and that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.